As demonstrators continue to call on the city of Spokane to help do more to help the city's homeless population, Mayor David Condon is responding. I sat down with the mayor today to ask him about what the city's doing, what's working and what's not. Between the encampment outside of City Hall, opening warming shelters and debate over the city's sit lie and protection of public lands ordinances, the issue has certainly been top of mind in recent weeks. Just yesterday, we heard from demonstrators who they say rather than opening warming shelters, the city should open a single location 24 7 shelter where the city's homeless could go throughout the day, not just at night. They also accused the city of criminalizing being homeless by having those ordinances. Well, today the mayor responded to that claim. It's absolutely false. You have never seen uh, in this city's uh, time a more uh, emphasis and initiative well before it became popular to protest uh, and um, we're years into this you'll see it anybody that does their research will see that I had committed years ago to address um, the issues facing the most vulnerable I, I grew up in a family whose mother worked at the House of Charity for some 30 plus years uh, and and I took teams to include the City Council President and others to Salt Lake City and to Boise and to Portland to truly understand what we're doing. The mayor says eliminating sit lie and protection of public lands, those ordinances, he says that would only promote lawlessness. He also said a 24 seven single location shelter is something they've tried before and he says it's not a solution. It is not uh, people first. Uh, I uh, spent time in the, in the facility that we used for the, the single location for 24 seven. Um, I would be in there early in the morning or on the street. Um, as, you, as you get to the numbers that that is, um, unfortunately it re-victimizes uh, the most vulnerable. Uh, when you bring large groups of, of individuals, especially in the vulnerable stage they are, it allows the predators to come in. He said what does work is partnering with community organizations and nonprofits to connect our city's homeless to the specific services they need, whether it's housing, help with addiction or finding work. Right now, the city is working to finalize a five year coordinated plan with those nonprofits to ensure that work continues in the long term. Finally, he said Spokane was one of 18 cities nationwide to be selected for an Envision Center, which will serve as a one stop location where someone can go to get connected to the services rather than seeking them all out individually. And that is slated to open in mid-2019. Hmm. We'll certainly have more reporting on this in the weeks and the months to come. Yeah, it's definitely a delicate issue mm -hmm. and a lot of opinions. A lot of balancing, right? best deal with it, mm -hmm. yeah. We'll keep you posted.